Welcome to Lincoln College, I'm Rob and today we're at the uh, scribe station. Today I'm going to show you how to scribe a bit of timber to an uneven surface on the wall, whether it be slightly curved or you can see on this bottom we've got lots of straight lines. I'm going to show you two methods now of scribing to the wall. Okay. The tools I'm going to need for this is obviously like anything that we do in joinery is a nice sharp pencil. Um, I've got a hammer here, this is just a tack on the timber to where we're going to scribe to. A steel rule or a tape measure. The reason I'm using a steel rule today, a little bit more accurate than the tape measure. That's going to make sure that we cut it once and it's just going to go straight back. I've got a level and a piece of timber just to draw around as well. So now what I'm going to do, I've uh, tacked these in position, leveled it up making sure that when it goes back, it's nice and level. So uh, this is a fairly curved one, but again, as you can see on the top, we've got these straight lines. So from there, I'm just gonna transfer those onto the timber using the level, just to level across, top and bottom. Then using a piece of timber, you can see it's just slightly bigger than what we need. It could be the same size as the widest point. Just going to go down and scribe around. And again, that's going to show us the exact line that we need to be cutting out. So with this line here, you can see when this is cut out, it's going to go back nicely to the wall. On this next one, I'm um, going to use a different method of measuring and levelling. Um, from each point, I'm going to level across. You can see here from each point of this, put some level lines where each point is onto the bit that we want to be uh, transferring back to the wall. Once I've got each point marked out, levelled through, I'm going to uh, measure the widest point, which is at the bottom here, till it goes back to the wall. In this case here, we've got 38 millimeters. Now from each little bit here, I'm gonna to touch the rule against the bit that we're scribing and put a little dot. Put a dot there at each point. You can see on this one here, I need two close together. As long as I remember which line goes to where, we'll be okay. Now that I've got all the dots marked out, it's just a case of joining them all up. And again, I could always take it off to join up the dots. I don't need to do it in position. And you can see here, it's got one more to line up. And then you can see here, I need to cut this little bit out and it should go nicely back to the wall. I've cut these out using a coping saw. As I said earlier, we could use a jigsaw as well, but I used a coping saw because there's not that much to cut out. Um, and as you can see with the top one here, it slides nicely, goes over the curve nicely. We can always tack it in position, position if we need to, but we don't need to in here because they're going to come back off again. And the bottom one again slides nicely into position there, and that's that done.